Let's talk about something that's with you right now, your phone. It's more than just a device, it's practically an extension of yourself, always within arm's reach, quietly collecting pieces of your daily life. It's not just for calls or texts, it's your bank, your photo album, your digital life. You use it to pay bills, store memories, navigate the world, and connect with everyone you know. Every app you open, every message you send, adds another layer to your digital identity. But what if someone could make a perfect copy of it, a digital ghost, controlled by a stranger? Imagine someone else, somewhere out there, holding a clone of your phone, able to see your messages, access your accounts, and even impersonate you. This is phone cloning, and it's happening every day. It's a growing threat, and most people don't even realize how vulnerable they are until it's too late. It's a silent crime that can upend your world before you even notice. You might not see any signs until your accounts are drained or your friends receive strange messages from your number. You don't have to be a CEO or a spy to be a target. Anyone can be hit. Whether you're a student, a parent, or a retiree, if you have a phone, you're at risk. Hackers don't need fancy tech, just a bit of your info and a few minutes of your inattention. Sometimes, all it takes is a quick glance at your screen or a careless moment in a crowded place. The fallout? Drained accounts? stolen identities, and chaos. Your financial security, your privacy, and your peace of mind can all vanish in an instant. Today, we'll break down what phone cloning is, how it works, and how you can protect yourself, in plain English. We'll make sure you understand the risks and the simple steps you can take to stay safe. We'll look at the tricks criminals use, from social engineering to sneaky texts. You'll see how easy it is for them to trick even the most careful people and what red flags to watch for. This isn't just a tech problem, it's a human one. It affects real people, real families, and real lives. Awareness is your first line of defense. By the end, you'll know how to spot the threats and keep your digital life secure. Let's get started, and make sure your phone stays yours and yours alone. So, what is phone cloning? It's making a working copy of your phone, without you knowing. Imagine a burglar making a perfect copy of your house key. That's what hackers do with your phone's digital identity. They copy your credentials onto another device, letting them make calls, get texts, and access your accounts as if they were you. Your phone stays with you, but a clone is active somewhere else. The network gets confused, sometimes sending your calls and texts to the hacker instead. In the past, cloning meant copying hardware numbers. Now it's about stealing your digital SIM info. The hacker's goal? to become you online. With your phone number, they can reset passwords and take over your accounts. Most of your important accounts use your phone for security. If a hacker intercepts your texts, they can lock you out of your digital life. It's a total takeover, all from copying your phone's identity. That's the danger of phone cloning. One of the most common and surprisingly effective ways hackers can clone your phone is through a technique called SIM swapping. It's a method that's both simple and alarmingly powerful, allowing criminals to take over your digital identity with just a few steps. Unlike the high-tech hacking you see in movies, SIM swapping doesn't require advanced coding skills or expensive equipment, just clever social engineering and a bit of patience. The process often starts with the hacker gathering your personal information. They might scour your social media profiles for details like your birthday, address, or even your pet's name. Sometimes they buy your data from underground markets after a data leak. Armed with this information, the hacker calls your mobile phone provider, pretending to be you. They're convincing, using the details they've collected to answer security questions and build trust. I lost my phone, I need a new SIM, they say, sounding urgent and believable. They provide your personal details, making the story seem real. The customer service representative, eager to help a distressed customer, follows protocol and transfers your phone number to a new SIM card, unaware that they're actually helping a hacker. Suddenly, your phone loses service. Calls and texts stop coming in. You might think it's just a network issue, but in reality, someone else now controls your number. With your number in their possession, the hacker can now reset passwords for your email, bank, and social media accounts. They request security codes, which are sent straight to their phone, not yours. Every verification code, every two-factor authentication message now goes to them. You're completely cut off from your own accounts. By the time you notice you're locked out, the hacker has already taken over your digital life, changing passwords, draining accounts, and locking you out of everything. This attack is quick, 
brutal, and relies almost entirely on human error and trust. It can happen in minutes, leaving you scrambling to regain control. It's not about hacking computers or breaking through firewalls. It's about tricking people, exploiting their helpfulness, and manipulating systems meant to protect you. The result? The hacker can access your emails, social media, and even your bank accounts, all within a matter of minutes. Your entire digital identity is at risk. SIM swaps are deceptively simple, but their impact is devastating. They can upend your life before you even realize what's happening. So, stay alert to any sudden loss of service. If your phone unexpectedly loses signal, don't ignore it. It could be more than just a network glitch. It might be the first sign of a SIM swap attack. Another major threat lurking in the digital world is phishing and spyware, modern-day Trojan horses that sneak into your life when you least expect it. It often begins with a message that looks completely normal, maybe a text from your bank warning you about suspicious activity or a delivery service saying your package is delayed. These messages are designed to look urgent and trustworthy, making you more likely to act without thinking. If you click the link, you might be taken to a website that looks exactly like your bank's login page, but it's a clever fake. Enter your details, and you've handed over your credentials to cybercriminals. Sometimes just clicking is enough to install spyware on your device, without you ever realizing it. Spyware operates silently, hidden deep within your phone's system. It can track your keystrokes, monitor your browsing, and even record your calls, all without any obvious signs. Picture this. You get a text about a delayed package, something that happens to everyone. You click the link, thinking it's just a routine update or a harmless notification. In a matter of seconds, spyware can be installed, giving hackers the power to access your texts, emails, passwords, and even turn on your camera and microphone, turning your phone into a surveillance device. The scariest part? Hackers don't need your phone number or physical access. They can watch everything you do in real time, from anywhere in the world. They can see you logging into your bank, intercept your security codes, and read your private messages as if they were sitting right next to you. Your phone, which you carry everywhere, becomes a spy in your pocket, broadcasting your personal life, habits, and secrets to criminals. You won't see any warning, pop-up, or notification. Everything looks normal on the surface. The attack is invisible but the consequences can be devastating. Identity theft, drained bank accounts, and loss of privacy. Phishing and spyware are all about tricking you into opening the door making you an unwitting accomplice in your own attack. That's why it's crucial to always be skeptical of unexpected messages, links, or requests for personal information, even if they seem urgent or official. Just one careless click can give hackers total access to your digital life, putting your finances, privacy, and security at risk. Stay alert and cautious. Your phone's privacy and your peace of mind depend on it. Let's talk about Bluetooth hacking, a threat hiding in plain sight. We use Bluetooth for headphones, watches, and cars, but leaving it on and discoverable can be risky. In a crowded place, a hacker can scan for nearby devices with Bluetooth on. If your phone is discoverable, they can exploit vulnerabilities to connect, often without your approval. Once connected, they might access your contacts, messages, or even make calls. Advanced attacks, like bluebugging, can give hackers full control listening to calls or stealing data. Picture this. You're at a cafe, Bluetooth on, and a hacker nearby quietly downloads your contacts. They can use this info for targeted scams or corporate espionage. You get no alerts. The theft is silent. Bluetooth attacks are close range, but in public spaces, that's easy. Turn off Bluetooth when not in use, especially in public. Don't let convenience become a vulnerability. If your phone is cloned, the consequences are serious. Hackers can access your financial apps, reset passwords, and drain your accounts in minutes. But it's not just about money. They can steal your identity, open new accounts, or file fake tax returns. Your emails, photos, and private info are exposed. Hackers might use this for blackmail or extortion. They can send malicious messages from your number, damaging your reputation. Friends, family, and colleagues could get spam or offensive content from you. The fallout is financial, personal, and emotional. Cleaning up the mess can take years. The hacker doesn't just steal your data, they can steal your good name. Now, the good news, you can protect yourself. Start by setting a PIN or password on your mobile account with your provider. This blocks most SIM swap attempts. Be skeptical of unsolicited texts or emails. 
never click suspicious links. Always go directly to official websites or apps to verify messages. Use two-factor authentication, but avoid SMS codes when possible. Authenticator apps like Google Authenticator are safer. They're not tied to your phone number. Keep your phone's software updated for the latest security patches. Turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi when not in use, especially in public. Use strong, unique passwords and a password manager. These habits create layers of defense. You don't need to be a tech expert, just consistent. Most hackers look for easy targets. Make yourself a hard one. Simple steps can make a huge difference. Think phone cloning only happens to celebrities? Think again. Hackers target everyone. They're after opportunity, not fame. Cybercrime is a numbers game. Hackers cast wide nets, looking for anyone with a bank account or digital identity. Your phone holds valuable data, even if you don't think you're important. Automated tools make it easy for even low-skilled criminals to attack. They buy phishing kits and spyware online for a few bucks. Hackers look for people who reuse passwords or don't secure their accounts. Believing you're not a target is your biggest vulnerability. If you have a smartphone, you have something worth stealing. Your data, money, and reputation are all at risk. The threat isn't personal, it's opportunistic. Recognize you're a target and you'll be ready. Preparation beats hope every time. We've explored the dark world of phone cloning, how it happens, what's at stake, and how to fight back. But this isn't about fear, it's about empowerment. You have the power to protect your digital life. Simple steps, setting a pin, using authenticator apps, staying skeptical, make you a tough target. Most hackers want easy wins. If you put up a fight, they'll move on. Security starts with you in the small choices you make every day. Pause before clicking a link. Use strong passwords. Set up 2FA. These actions put you in control, not the hackers. Don't let technology intimidate you. Security is about being prepared and proactive. Your phone connects you to the world and holds your life. It's worth protecting. With these strategies, you can enjoy the digital world with confidence. Keep your digital life safe, secure, and truly yours.